Hey y'all, today's video is going to be an install and review featuring Ashley Marie Hair. They sent me out their 26 inch burgundy 13 by 6 frontal. Right off the bat, I noticed how vibrant this color is. And I'm pretty sure other than blonde, this is my first time installing an actual color wig for you guys. So if you are just as excited to see the turnout as I am, keep watching. <laughs> Another thing I noticed while installing this wig is that the hairline was a little thicker than I would have liked. So I'm just using my tweezers to go in and just pluck it out just a little bit more. Decided to play it safe and just spray it down. Now you can wear this wig glueless. It did send me out adhesive strips to, I guess, secure it while you wear glueless. Showed you guys that in the beginning, but I'm like I said, I'm just using my got to be spray and just really making sure to comb back any flyaways. Once this band is down and it dries, it's up, it's up, and it is stuck. So I want everything to be where it needs to be before I cut this lace off. I'm gonna be working on defining the curls. So I did get a little ratchet with it. I could not find my spray bottle. So I'm using this empty spray bottle that I found. Filled it up with water and I'm just using that. Listen, I gotta finesse how I can, you feel me? Now I am just scrunching in the little bit of product that I got from that mousse. Just scrunching it in, trying to really make these waves and these curls pop. I'm just showing you guys right here that the color didn't transfer. That I was surprised about. Usually with hair this vibrant and colorful, it bleeds like crazy and I really didn't experience at this point too much bleeding or too much transfer on my robe or on my hands. So right, I'm just cutting off this lace and just seeing what I have left to work with. Um, now usually I use my zigzag scissors but I couldn't find them John so I'm just cutting it off however it fits. After I pull down my baby hairs, I'm going to go back in with my spritz for an extra layer of security. And once I had my baby hair section off where I pretty much where I wanted it, I just went ahead and wrapped my hair up for tonight. No special type of way, I just put it in my bonnet and in the morning I took it down and these are what the waves are looking like. It's all dry at this point and this is what the lace is giving. 
Now, I feel like I definitely could have melted it again, but this summer has been too hot for wigs. So I didn't plan on having this on for long, so. Did forget to mention this is transparent lace. As far as I'm concerned, the lace was really nice. It was pretty thin. I do think I wanna install this wig again and really, really like lay the lace. Over, I am gonna try to reinstall this and hey, maybe I may make another updated video on how the hair is doing. I think the waves are really cute. But I'm tempted to see how it curls. So let's do it and then maybe do a style or two. I'm I think this just might be my color. I don't know. This just might be my color. I remember telling you guys that the hair didn't bleed or anything. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I noticed as I was straightening and curling the hair that it did bleed, it did stain my hands. I'm just glad my nails was already paint. All of the details to the hair will be left down in the description below for, the, for those of you that want to check it out. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a beautiful day. Bye.